So, so people have been sort of sending us emails and they've been asking about uh, the fatigue that they're feeling. And um, the fatigue stems back to hypoxia, which is the lack of oxygen that you've got in your, your bloodstream. And it brings us into this idea of pacing. So it's the same pacing, spelt the same way as pacing about. But pacing is learning to work at a, a, an even pace that allows you to do more. So when I've worked with people with emphysema, one of the first things I try and teach them is how to walk at an even pace that allows them to go on for a very, very long time, but there's no sprints, there's no massive exertion there. And that links back to what we spoke about in an earlier video about um, a lot of people with chronic illnesses will feel absolutely terrible. They'll get a good day and they go mad. They try and get all the jobs and all the things that have been stacking up done. And then by halfway through that, they feel absolutely bloody terrible again. So then they're laid up again and um, the jobs pile up and they get a good day and off the cycle goes again and again and again. Pacing is more like um, working at about 55-60% of what you feel capable of. It's keeping a nice ease and pace, it's the marathon runner. So if you think about the opposite of pacing, that would be sprints. And you can only maybe do a, a flat out sprint for 50, 60 metres, depending on how fit you are or were. But you can get a marathon run, they can run for 26 miles, it's an even pace. So half of what's going on, it falls into different areas. One of the things is about getting your head right and this acceptance, and it's laying out your jobs at a level that you can actually do and getting assistance on the stuff that you can't. And that's quite hard for a lot of people that are very independent. It's not handing over all your jobs that somebody else does it all for you. It's working out your capacity. And the important word is capacity. You're not working beneath it. You're not working above it. You're working at your capacity. What I would say is the hard bit is figuring out what that capacity is. If you lie to yourself, it will be a very, very long job. If you're brutally honest with yourself, you'll figure it out fairly quickly. So, <coughs> I've read some bits about people are saying that when they're preparing a meal, they can peel potatoes and then have to sit down for 10 minutes before they peel carrots. That's working out what your capacity is. Being more specific, if she told me or he told me that they managed to peel seven potatoes and then had to wait 10 minutes before they could peel five carrots, you've got something to work with. Because I would try and build that down to nine and a half minutes nine minutes, eight minutes, seven and a half minutes, where you're bringing down the rest periods and building up the workloads. So it's not something I talk about much, but when I was about 22, I had a stroke and was laid up in hospital for about six weeks. So when I came out, I had no capacity at all. And one of the things that I used to do when I first started getting myself back on to some sort of normality was I would walk and uh, I'd got a flat, new flat, and I was supposed to be decorating it. And I would walk across to the flat and then lay on the floor for two hours and have a sleep because um, I was just totally drained from the walk and then get up and do about 20 minutes decorating and that would totally drain me and I'd lay on the floor for another hour and a half and then walk back and then sit down with a cup of tea and watch TV for the rest of the night and go to bed early. That's an example of pacing. I was looking about what I could actually achieve and taking the rest when I needed it. Um, 
as an aside the wall never got stripped that's another story but I got back to a normal life back to work and everything else so you want to get this idea of pacing in your head to handle the fatigue it isn't about doing nothing it's about finding the right level of exertion that you can cope with and then adding about 4% on top of that. Um, I hope that's helpful. It's practical if nothing else. And again, no magic bullets. It is what it is. You have to work your way through it. Um, good luck. And if you've got any other problems or issues, come back and talk to us and I'll see if I can come up with some more ideas for you.